all carburetors have some sort of float bowl. The float bowl is the place where carburetors store a small amount of fuel as a reserve so it can be fed into the airstream as the air passes through the carburetor body. This HS4 carburetor is a great example mainly because this model has its float bowl on the outside where we can see it. Now terms like setting the float are something that we hear a lot or your shop manual may give you the expression float level. What are those things? The float level is the level or the height or the depth at which the fuel is maintained inside the bowl. Let's see why that's important. I've got over here a plastic tube which is shaped like the letter U and I'd like to ask you to watch what happens to fluid on both sides of the U as I add fluid to just one side. And you should see it coming up now. And notice the fluid level is the same on both sides, okay? Gravity at work. Now why is that important to us? Well, let's go back to our carburetor for just a moment, okay? The float bowl right here is one side of the letter U. The gallery that crosses from the float bowl over to the main carburetor is the bottom of the letter U, and this far side where the jet is that goes up into the airstream, this is the second side of the letter U. The correct level of fuel in the jet is very important. However, we can't quite get in there and adjust that very easily. So what we do is we go over here and we adjust the level of fuel in the bowl. Remember, they're going to be the same. We adjust the level of fuel in the bowl, we are automatically adjusting the level of fuel in the jet. We adjust the level of fuel in the bowl by adjusting the height of the float that's inside the bowl. We'll learn more about that in our next video.